viewers welcome to big foodies please subscribe to big foodies to get the latest recipes and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get latest notifications friends today we are making avocado paratha avocado also known as butter fruit is a healthy fruit that is loaded with monosaturated fats a healthy type of fat and fiber from babies to everyone can enjoy avocados also it is known for its creamy texture and nutty taste because of its creamy texture it mixes with the flour evenly and helps to make the paratha soft though high in fat a healthy fat helps in weight loss avocado paratha recipe is a quick to make flat bread that makes a wholesome and delicious breakfast the creaminess of the avocado in the paratha keeps the paratha soft from inside and yet crispy from the outside you can serve it for breakfast or lunch a quick weeknight dinner or even bake it into a kids lunch box let's check the ingredients now to make this delicious flat bread for your family and friends For making avocado parathas, we have taken two ripe avocados. So now we need to cut these avocados. So I'm using the avocado cutter or to cut the avocados, you can use the knife. So now we need to take out the seed of the avocado. You can use the knife to do that. So in the slicer, we already have a way to take out the seed now use the spoon to take out the pulp of the avocado so now we are using the potato masher to mash the avocados nicely so we need to mash them completely for the parathas After mashing the avocados, we need to squeeze the juice of half a lemon. So lemon will help in keeping the avocados green and uh, fresh. Now mix the lemon juice with the avocados nicely so that the avocados are kept green and fresh. Now add some olive oil or avocado oil as per your choice. Now add chopped green chilies as per your taste. Some chopped garlic. chopped cilantro or coriander leaves add salt as per your taste we are adding around 2 teaspoons of salt 1 teaspoon of cumin powder 1 teaspoon of carom seeds or ajwain add about 2 teaspoons of sesame seeds sesame seeds gives a nice crunchiness makes the parathas healthy add half teaspoon of garam masala for extra flavor mix it well Now add the wheat flour. We are adding the wheat flour little at a time. Don't add it too much once. So first we have added one cup of wheat flour. Mix it well. So we need to make it in a soft dough. Depending on the consistency and ripeness of the avocado, we need to adjust the amount of wheat flour. So we need to add more little wheat flour. So we are adding around one more cup of wheat flour here. friends we forgot to add the grated ginger so we uh, we can add it uh, at this point as well mix it nicely and add more flour we need to keep adding the flour until we get a soft and nice dough so our dough is ready and you can see that we have made it into a soft dough So we need to grease it with a little bit of oil so that it doesn't become hard on the outer surface. So once the dough is ready, we need to keep it aside for 10 minutes. Then we'll start rolling it to make the parathas. So our dough has been resting for 10 minutes. So we will now start rolling the parathas. To, to make the parathas, we need to take a small amount of dough and make it into a ball. Now we need to dust it with the flour and start rolling the paratha. So 
After rolling it into a 2 inch diameter, we need to apply some oil or ghee. Fold it in half. Apply some more ghee or oil. Sprinkle with some dough. Fold it one more time. So now we need to dust it one more time with the flour and start rolling it. Now our paratha is rolled, we need to put it on the heated griddle. So we have already heated a cast iron griddle. You can use any tawa or any type of griddle. For roasting the paratha, we, you can use oil or ghee as per your choice or even you can use butter. Keep the flame on medium while you are roasting the paratha. So once the paratha will start roasting, it will become dry on the top and some bubbles will also start forming up. So at this time, we can turn the paratha. We are applying some butter on it. You can use oil, ghee, butter as per your choice. Now turn it over. Apply the butter or ghee or oil as, on the other side as well. We need to make it nice brown on both the sides. So our paratha is ready and nicely roasted. So let's keep it aside. So let's see one more time how to make the paratha. So we have so we have one more bowl of the dough. Now apply some ghee on top. Sprinkle some flour. Fold it. Apply some more ghee. Let's roast the other paratha. Now turn it over. Apply some butter or ghee or oil. Apply some more butter on the side. So roast it nice and brown from both the sides. So now you can see that our paratha is roasted nicely brown on both the sides and we can serve it. We have served the avocado parathas with uh, potato and green pea curry or aloo mutter sabzi and some sweet mango pickle. You can check the recipe for potato and green pea curry in my other video. So these parathas really are very healthy and they really taste very delicious and yummy. You can also have these parathas alone or with yogurt, pickle or any curry of your choice. Enjoy it with your family and friends and if you like this recipe don't forget to subscribe to our channel for many more delicious recipes.